Hello everyone, this is Cindy, and I am going to be working on some um, tags with collage background. So I thought I would turn on the camera and have some company. I hope you enjoy my video, and um, I'm going to start out by collaging or making a master board, either one that you want to call it. And um, let me raise the camera up a little bit so you can kind of see better. Okay, I've kind of got a mess here, which <laughs> all of us do, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. So I've got two eight and a half by 11 pieces of cardstock. And um, let's see what I want to start with here. Um, let me see. Let me get my basket out and we'll see what we've got here. I want to, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to collage the back. And then I've got these postcards that I cut out. Um, these are all from um, Daisy Collins Shop um, um, to Sami Rose. I'm designing for her now. So uh, I thought I would just, um, I've got to make a bunch of tags. So I just thought I would include you girls and guys if we have any. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be using, um, oh, first I better set my timer. I don't want to disappear on you. Okay, um, I don't think that'll be in the way. There. Okay, I've got me some book page so I can glue. I'm going to be using a glue stick because um, it just seems to go down easier. So, um, let's see here. I've got some, um, hope everybody's doing good today. Um, I know it's trying times, so I just, um, Hope everybody's doing well. What I'm going to do first is I am going, I'm going to be um, gluing off camera because I just don't have enough room to, to um, do everything on screen. So I'm just going to come right over here and do my gluing. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this, um, these two pages together just like so. Easy peasy. This is a wonderful way to make tags. You just collage one side. What I do is I collage one side so when I cut them out, you can, uh, people can journal on the back of them. And then the other side, I use something else and I decorate. So that's kind of how, um, that's kind of how I do mine. And, um, I just kind of tear up all kind of fun things that I can find to add to the back. So, and I just really never know what I'm going to do or how it's going to turn out. You just kind of go for it. And it's, it's fun because it's a surprise <laughs> when you find out what, um, what you got going on. And, uh, yeah, I'm real excited. I haven't um, designed for anybody in a long time. And um, I had designed for her before. And I love her digitals. And um, But I was um, having a few health problems. And um, I just had to um, stop. But um, everything's good now, so... I'm back at it and enjoying it so much. It keeps me motivated. Um, sometimes I procrastinate a lot, <laughs> don't we all? And um, yeah, I kind of 
find myself not doing what I should be. So, I'll be making, um, I'll be doing videos and um, trying out some all kind of new fun things. And, um, let's see here. I need some more pages that don't have a lot on them. Let me see if I can dig around in here and um, find what I've got to use. Um, here I've got some postcards. We can use those. Um, oh, I've got, oh, I, I have a find. Yesterday, I went to a charity shop down the street, and oh, my goodness, their books, it does not matter how big they are or what they are, they're a dollar. So, I got this, um... I got this um, quilt book. I mean, the thing is huge. And I just couldn't believe it. And um, for a dollar. So I was just real thrilled. <laughs> so I bought that. And then I bought um, a couple of other books. And they're just, they're wonderful for um, doing collage. And, um... This book should last me a pretty long time. It's maybe like, oh, I want to say maybe 14 inches high and um, 10 inches wide or something like that. It's just, it's just beautiful. And I was so thrilled to get it. Okay, um, I'm using my... Um, tea dyed paper what I do I used to do a whole bunch at one time dyeing and all that and you know I just got tired of having all that waiting on it to dry and the big mess so now all I do is I have three cookie pans cookie sheets and let me make sure I'm on camera here, which I was not. I'm sorry. Um, and I have a cup of strong brewed tea and a paintbrush. And uh, now I do live in Florida, so it's nice and hot. But um, I just put those out on the lanai. And I go out there and paint three pages. And before you know it, Next time I go out there, they're, um, they're dry, and I pick them up and put them in, in the pile and throw a couple more in there, and um, just keep doing that, and I have a lovely pile of papers, and then when I get a nice stack, my husband made me a press, he just took two boards and gave me two clamps and I clamp them on there and um, that's how I press my pages so I like to try to use a lot of um, different um, kinds of ephemera um, I collect for, for in my inside my journals I have um, papers I have book page from the 1800's and uh, they're beautiful I know everyone that watches me knows Rachel of Roxy Creations everybody knows Rachel and um I get a, so much of my inspiration from her 
Tish Till. Um, I just love her. And um, I order, she, once in a while, she will sell book page and she sells straw paper. And right now she's actually selling um, um, fabric. So if you're looking for some beautiful ephemera to add to your your um, journals or the work you use, um, she uh, she has plenty. Now the only downsize is she is she is um, you know UK, so the shipping is a little much, but she does she does it as cheaply as she can. And when I order something, I just go ahead and order a good amount. And um, that way, I'm ready to go for quite a while. Okay, let's see here what else we might want to put on here. I've got some, let me see if I can move y'all over a little bit. There we go. I've got some really pretty um, postcards. And they, they too are um, from Tasami Rose, and uh, I'm going to add those because you can do some journaling around them. Where's my ruler? I guess I shall just cut. And another thing you can do is you can stamp. Um, I love to stamp. In fact, I just ordered a um, Tim Holtz stamp of wildflowers so I want to be putting those on the backs of my journals and different pages in my creations if you ever want to just kind of lay back and have a good time and not oops Oops, I thought I had put that on upside down, but I hadn't. Uh, just kind of relax and enjoy yourself. This is a great way to do it. I just love to do this. And there's no rhyme or reason. You don't have to get stressed or anything. You just put it down. Just put it down. Okay, I'm going to put that there. And it's so much fun after you do the other side. And um, you cut them out. And it's kind of a surprise to see what you have. <laughs> it's pretty fun. So, um, And I appreciate everybody that follows me. Like I say, I'm going to be doing more videos now and um, all you have to do is hit that button that um, where's my card I got a card that I use to smooth this out and of course you oh there it is just hit that um, that bell and it'll let you know um, when I'm coming on and you can come you can come craft with me I am going think I'm going to add this uh, hmm, maybe not I think I'll save it for the front and this is such a wonderful way to get rid of your scraps for a while, I had so many, I just was not saving them anymore. It was like, oh my gosh, I just can't do this. So every once in a while, I clean them out. But um, I'm planning on using more of my scraps now. So I'm going to start a, just do a bucket or a basket or a box and throw all my scraps in it and then because for this one I actually had to kind of go hunting a little bit for what I wanted to use because it's like you know you've got so much stuff already and then you 
hold on to your scraps. It's like, geez. Okay, I think I'm going to put this on. I know it's not um, particularly completely empty, but that's okay. Oh, man. Yep. If you ever... Okay, where do I want to put this? I think I'll put this right there. If you ever need pictures or anything like that, go to charity shops. They have books. And it's really sad. I mean, this is a huge vintage Better Homes and Garden floral book. And it was a dollar. I mean, it's really kind of sad that it's they charge so little for such beautiful books. But I guess that's to our advantage. Now, I'm not a real huge fan of um, glue sticks. But when you're doing this, it's just about, you just about half have to use them, but ah, my fingers get so sticky, and um, sometimes you have to go back and kind of check your corners. Okay, this side is coming along. Okay, let's see what else. I think I'll go ahead and add some more tea dyed paper. I don't use coffee too very much unless I'm really doing a grunge journal or doing a journal for a man. Um, I just kind of like the subtleness of this. And, um, and another thing people ask me is about inking all the edges. I have a love-hate relationship with that. I don't, um, I don't use, I don't do that all the time. I just find that, let me see if I've got any, I think I've got everything, oh no, there's a little bit there. I kind of find that, I don't know, I don't enjoy doing it, number one, and it's supposed to be things that you enjoy. And some people are um, real big on everything being inked, and then some people aren't. I ink when I feel like it's necessary, when I need to showcase something and make it pop. But just to ink every one of these that I'm putting down, no, that's not going to happen. Okay, I need one more little piece and then we will have this done this one page I got to do the other one if you want to you know if you just kind of getting into doing this and kind of okay come on kind of just having fun you can just keep adding pages and um, the more you add, the more tags or journaling cards or pages, anything that you need, um, this works great. It really does. So, and um, on my tea dyed paper, I um, just use. copy paper. It seems to work really well. And um, I save my other paper for other things. Okay, let me make sure everybody can see what I'm doing. That didn't want to stick, but I'm just going <coughs> to, excuse me, I'm just going to add something on top of it and it'll work. And you can just glue right on top of your paper until you get to where you um, don't have much room. Then you need to use your glue book. And I have had several girls um, 
messaged me and they're new they're new to this and um so some of the stuff that i'm telling you is basics but you know we always have new girls joining us so i like to um add what i'm doing and that kind of thing you know, some people might not even know what a masterboard is. You'll see that on the sites, but a masterboard is nothing but what I'm doing right here, a collage. That's, that's all it is. And it gives you multiple pages and multiple collages and whatever to work with. And um, it's fun. I really enjoy it. It's like, it's just kind of like takes you away, kind of. Like I say, the only thing I'm not thrilled about is the um, glue stick. But there's just really no other way to um, do it than to use a glue stick. Where did my card go? I can lose. <laughs> I can lose so many things that are just right in front of me. Now, how could it have gone away? That's all I want to know. Oh, man. Well, it did. <clears throat> well, oh, right in front of my face. Okay. And I just go back and kind of check my edges. And then after you cut things out, you'll also um, kind of be checking on things. I'm going to go ahead and put this. And also, in collage, let me give you a few tips. If you're new and you're not exactly knowing how to do it, start off with very large pieces. You can, you can um, do like... You could put this down for example. You could you could just put that down, and that gets you started. And um, you just keep building on it. That's all you're doing is just making a background, and you're building on your paper. Okay. I'm gonna put. Oh no, I got something right there. I'm gonna put that right there okay then we're gonna add this and this this um little pad right here this little blue pad i actually picked it up at the dollar store moons ago and um I use it from everything from collage to a grocery list. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Okay. Now, let's see what we want to do. I think I'm going to put this just to kind of break this up. I'm going to put this right here. My fingers are stickier than the back of my... A good thing to have are wet ones. I didn't bring mine in here, but that's a good thing to use um, to kind of get un. Oops, I'm sorry. To get unstuck. Let's see here. Sometimes I use some um, things like this, but I'm not doing that today. Let me go back to my basket and. See what else I have. Okay, I can tear some of that, although that's kind of thick paper. And we're going to use these on the other side. So let me go ahead and get them out. And I've got some papers. Let's see what else I've got in here. Kind of looking for something. Oh, those are good. Kind of looking for something that's not real thick. That's good. And like I say, all these papers are um, from Tsunami Rose. She has wonderful collage papers. Just wonderful. 
Okay, moving right along here. We're just about finished. I think I'm going to tear this down. And you can always use, I use a ruler when I'm, you know, wanting to get an edge. I use the side of a ruler and it works great. But on this, you really don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> okay, I think I better come back over here to my book. And all I'm doing off camera is just um, putting, this, putting this glue down. And I will tell you, <coughs> excuse me, when you start doing these collages, don't be low on glue or you'll run out because um, it they do kind of disappear in a hurry. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see here. Why don't we put... We're going to put this on that, um, center where I hinged the two together. Okay. And I'll also, I'll also explain, um, my glue book to you for girls that are new to doing this. Okay, that kind of came over the edge, so I'm just going to kind of pull it off like that. And, hmm, where do I need a little piece? Let's see. I'll put it right, right there. Okay. Now, moving right along. Oh, I'm sorry, that thing's right above my head. And I keep hitting it. I know I'm making y'all dizzy. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Let me go back and this looks like it needs to be glued down, and that does. Sometimes the glue sticks, you know, you kind of have to go back and you can kind of tell where they're kind of bowed up a little bit. But see, we're coming right along here. <clears throat> coming right along. Okay, now... I just need a few more things, and we'll be good to go. <coughs> Why don't we, um... Okay, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm using a book, and it's a Reader's Digest book, and I'm going to make a journal out of it, but I don't need the insides. So what I do is I use it for, it's, we call it a glue book. And you use the pages to glue on. And then when they get real sticky, you just throw them away. Okay? And that helps um, use pages that um, otherwise you just throw away. Because um, this was a good find. I found this yesterday also. And it's um, a vintage Reader's Digest. And look at the picture on the front of that. Is that not wonderful? So I won't be doing much to this at all. I'm going to um, not do much to that cover at all when I get ready to use it. That was really great. Okay, let's see what this is. Hmm. I think I'll tear this down. And... My Jackson's in there. He wanted to come with me, but it was like, oh, you know, I can't do this and keep up with a puppy, too. So maybe one day he can come in here, but not right now. He would be into 
everything. And he hears me talking, and he's starting to bark. Okay, let's see here. Kind of like this. He's actually, he's seven months old, and he's starting puppy school tomorrow. So I'll let you <laughs> know how that turns out. He's doing really well, though. He, um... He's um, potty training really nicely. Okay. Actually, we've about got it. Um, I think I want to add... Um, let me see here. I need to just add one, a couple more things to cover up some... Okay. And then if you, when we get done, um, if there's anything, if there's anything sticking over the side, we'll just snip it off. I'm going to put that right there, and I'm going to put that over the side to cover up that. Okay. I think we're going to call this side, although I think I need to... Go right here and kind of firm that bend up a little bit. Now, when you get through with your base, you can add, um, but you can add ephemera, you can add buttons, you can add lace, you can, add, you know, you can also make pockets out of these and just all kind of things. Okay, okay I'm gonna call this done this side done and I do not know how long my videos run so I am going to stop this video and I will start the other side because I don't want to get cut off right in the middle so this will be continued and um, I just want to thank everyone for watching and, um, yeah, we just make more than one video out of this. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.